Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to learn about types of DDBMS. Means we are going to discuss about types of distributed database management system. So here are the two types. Number one is homogeneous and the second one is heterogeneous. Number one is homogeneous and here are few properties of homogeneous distributed database. All the sites use identical DBMS and operating system. Look at here department 1, department 2, department 3 and here is the communication channel. So all the sites means department 1, 2, 3 are using same identical means similar MySQL DBMS and also operating system maybe Linux or Windows. It means similar DBMS will be used at all sites. DBMS is a program used to create and maintain database. So all the sites are using same DBMS. Share a common global schema means schema means pattern all sites have same pattern so it is very easy to access data from one site to another so if I suppose I am here at department 1 so I can access data from department 2 so because same pattern both MySQL and MySQL is also here so we can get data easily due to the same schema and the third point is that the database is accessed through a single interface as if it is a single database we can also access database through single end so the number fourth point is here each side is aware of all other sites and cooperates with other sites to process users requests so here because of same schema and identical dbms so all sites are cooperate with one another so all the sites are cooperating each other to accomplish the request of the users so this is all about homogeneous distributed databases in which we are going to share identical DBMS on all the network and here is the second one type that is heterogeneous in this system data can be accessed and modified simultaneously on several databases in the network so I'm going to talk about homogeneous distributed system is easy to handle so now here heterogeneous distributed database here are the few properties of heterogeneous distributed database so different sites use different DBMS it uses different DBMS for example here is the example that is department 1 used MySQL at department 3 MariaDB and at department 2 MS Access so all are going to use different DBMS so maybe uh, department 1 MySQL department 2 MySQL and department 3 MariaDB so share different schema due to different DBMS obviously the schema will be different so because of different schema query processing is difficult so sometimes query processing is very difficult if I need to get data from department 1 and department 2 so department 1 uses MySQL and department 2 is here which is MS Access so little bit difficult to get data 
from both each side not aware of all other sides and cooperates with other sides to process user request so because of different schema so each side is not going to cooperate with other side so here different schema due to different dbms query processing is slow all the sites are not cooperating with each other to accomplish the request of the users here are the some alternative designs for distributed database non replicated and non fragmented fully replicated partially replicated fragmented and mixed so first one is here different tables are placed at different sites data is placed so that it is at a close proximity the site where it is used most so for example so at site 1 i am going to store data about accounting students because i know that we can access data of accounting students from here so and site 2 engineering students so here is the engineering department and i am going to store data at engineering department which is site 2 and similarly site 3 site 4 site 5 according to the need it is more reliable for database systems where the percentage of queries needed to join information in tables placed at different sites is low so we are going to store data according to the nature according to the site requirement if site 1 required accounting data then we are going to store accounting data at site 1 and the number 2 is fully replicated so at each site one copy of all the database tables is stored so in this way we are going to store all the copies not accounting department and engineering department all the database all the dbms we are going to store all the database every location so site 1 contain full copy site 2 site 3 and so on so just save complete database all the sites it is fully replicated but one disadvantage is we need more space to do this task and it is also hard to update data on all the sites for example if site 1 do you want to change your name and um, it will be updated at site 5 4 3 2 so it is hard to update but but this technique has some also advantages so partially replicated means copies of tables or portions of tables are stored at different sites so we can copy tables means i am going to store accounting data and winning data here or i can take some tuples or rows and store here at site one so we can make partially replicated data for example if i don't want to fully replicate it because the storage disadvantage due to because it is going to take more storage so second one is partially replicated means we are going to consume less storage so here is third one but here partially replicated you can replicate only few tables or parts of the table in this scheme so fragmented means divided according to the parts of data in this design a table is divided into two or more pieces referred to as fragments or partitions and each fragment can be stored at different sites so we can 
divide our table on the basis of a property on the basis of a department so for example employ and divide according to its department so according to or we can say that we can store data according to the cities if a person belongs to Lahore you can store its data in Lahore site which is maybe one so last one is mixed this is a combination of fragmentation and partial replications so you can take advantages of both and also maybe a little bit disadvantages of both in mixed model so mixed model is also suitable for the organizations it is very good and last one is thank you for watching this video